in this video we're going to look at how to add music sound or sound effects to your videos in wondershare humora by the end of this video you should be able to create something very simple like this And this is coming up. Hey everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up. So here are the resources that I'll be using. I'll leave links to download all of this music and then the sound effects pack in the description if you want to download and practice that. And we're going to make use of Wondershare Fumora nine that is the software that we're going to use to do this so let's get started now the first thing that you want to do in this case is to import in your media files so when i go to my resource file here i can quickly select all of them because i'm going to make use of all of these and then i can drag them into wondershare fumora and place them at the media button here now you make sure that this button or these tabs you have the media selected before you drag in your media files now from there what you need to do is first you place in your actual video so for instance if it is the video that you are working on your youtube video you're just going to drag and drop it onto the timeline so this is the timeline for videos so you're going to drag your video onto the timeline this video actually contains a sound so i'm just going to mute that sound for the sake of this video so i'll right click on it and i'm going to select the mute here so this video is going to be muted and this is what you're going to see now once you have it this way you can then go ahead and add the external music that you want to add to the music now in this case i got two of the sounds for you so i got the sound that actually it's in a video and then i extracted it also here that is the royalty sound music if you want to see how to extract that video I did it in my previous video i'll leave link in the description so we're going to use the music that has been extracted already so what we're going to do is we're going to left click and drag that also onto the bottom of the video that we brought in so that is the sound this indicates the sound section now from there you can go and hit on the play button here or using the space bar you can just test for a playback so you see how it actually works this is how the sound and this is the current volume of the sound now from there what you can do is you can double click on the sound here so you, you double click on the sound and then it will take you to the audio section over here that you can make a lot of adjustments over here so the first thing that you can do from this portion is the volume so you can decrease the volume and then you see the effect happening over here so you realize that the waves are dropping so you can decrease that to this point for instance so at this point you realize that when you play back the sound is very small it is not as huge as it was at first and then if you want it very higher you can open it up also that's very simple in the same way for instance in places where you are talking and then places that you are not talking you can readjust it it doesn't have to be just one way so for instance in places that you are speaking you want the volume to be so let's double click on it you want the volume to be around 18 like this and then in places that you are not speaking you are just showing footages like in this video you're just going to increase it to the higher but you realize that in that case it is just one way so what you do is when you get to a point where you are speaking or where you are not speaking for instance let's say this place i'm not speaking i just want to show you footages what i do is i'll select the sound and then i'll press ctrl b or you use the cutting button over here this one split the split button so it is ctrl b so you select that one and then you realize from here that now we have two so we have this place that we are talking and this place that we are not talking so we can double click on this one and then we can increase the volume from here that is the part that we are not speaking we just want to show footages so we can increase it this way so you realize that when you start playing from here it will just be very small volume 
like that and then it transitions into the big one that very simple another interesting thing that you can do at the audio section here is the fading and the fade out the fading is basically when you are starting the music you want it to fade slowly in so you don't want the music to start at that very high note so it just slightly fades in so let me increase this volume over here or let's pick this one for instance and let's increase the fading obviously it was that one selected so you realize that the music doesn't sound just right away it just slowly fades in before it just turns into that higher note that is the fading and then the fade out is basically when you are ending your video so at the very end of your video when it is ending for instance this place you can drag the fade out so that it can slowly fade out that is it can slowly end with your video so for instance Another cool thing that you can do at the audio section here is using the pitch. You can really adjust your voice to sound very different from your actual voice. So you can drag it to the very left side and then you can see how I sound right now. And then you can take it also to the very right side and then you see how I sound right now. So you can play around with your sound and then you can also play with the equalizer over here. It all depends on how you want to sound. That is, you have the classic to the very costume here when you click on the costume and then you go to customize you can actually play with the equalizer over here to set the sound or your voice to the exact way you want it i'll be making a video of how i actually edit my sound using just two softwares audacity and wondershare filmora now after you're done with your video and then you've added the sound sometimes you place in things like the lower third for instance which i made a tutorial on that very recently how to create this costume lower third for instance and then you place it on your videos or you add test and effects and animations which you want something to trigger the audience that something really popped up over there so for instance i have my lower third over here i go ahead to the motions and i'm going to add a motion to it like this so when it gets to that portion of the video it is going to come like that and then i want a sound effect over there to indicate that that actually happened because some people may not be paying attention well enough so what i do is i've got a sound pack effect over here this is the actual one i'll leave links in the description so what i'm going to do is i'm going to also drag the sound pack onto the very next line that is the next timeline and then i can scroll down and this is what i have so when you play back the sound pack from here you realize that we have a lot of them like a bunch of them because this is a complete sound pack or sound effect so uh, i'm going to write skip to this place because this is the exact one that i'm looking for so you skip to the place that you want so this sound is what i'm looking for exactly so once i get it i'll just take my keza to where it starts so let me just open it up like that and then i'm going to select that make sure that you are always or you've always selected that particular timeline that you are working with so i'm going to press ctrl b to cut that and then i'm going to place it at the very end of it and i'm going to press ctrl b again to cut it so now i can select the right side of it and i'm going to hit delete i can select the left side and i'm going to hit delete now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to close my timeline for instance like that and then i locate or i check exactly where i have my lower third up here and then i'm going to drag this sound effect to that particular place so i can place my keza over here and then let me open up again and then i can drag this to the very place so it aligns with this place and then when i take my keza back this is what i'm going to have it's that very simple right so you can do the same thing if you have many lower third you can just copy paste and then you copy the sound effect too and then you can paste it and yes that will be pretty much it for this video i hope you got value out of this let me know in the comment section if you have anything in wonder chef humora that you want me to cover i'll be so glad to take that into consideration again thank you so much for sticking around to watch please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video it's innocent here and bye